Hey guys, Ken Hill here, and this is Gun Scare and Freedom. Today I'm out at the range and I've got my new Core 15 rifle system. It's a government profile. It's 5.56 NATO or 223 Remington, and uh, it's got a 1 in 9 twist. It's pretty much a fairly decent rifle for under a thousand dollars. I gave about 800 for this one, and uh, I don't know, it's just been pretty good. But I wanted to kind of go over it with you guys and do a little bit of shooting with it. And got a target down range that's about 150 yards away, and uh, we'll be shooting some uh, 55 grain full metal jacket down at it and see how it does. As you can see, this Core 15 is pretty run of the mill. Uh, the one thing that I liked about it for an $800 rifle is it did come with our forward assist and it did come with a dust cover, so we were pretty lucky there to have that. But uh, other than that, it just comes with a standard handguard and a standard pretty much front sight. It does have a, a two birdcage on it. And I went ahead and mounted a four power scope on there. Nothing fancy. The Core 15 rifle system actually came with a hex mag and I'm going to give you my honest opinion about this magazine. I don't really like it. It doesn't lock in as good as a PMAG would in a traditional AR-15 system and I've had problems with this thing even after smacking the bottom of the butt plate to seat the mag. I've had it fall out so I'm not real fond of it but it is what came with this rifle when I purchased it new and uh, I've went ahead and upgraded the mags to um, some PMAGs but uh, for this demonstration we're going to use the original magazine. Alright guys, let's give this thing a shot. As you can see, I've had to firmly uh, seat the magazine, so uh, hopefully it doesn't fall out. I'm tugging on it, but you never know. Pull the shut up. Looks like we're ready to go. Now downrange we have, at 150 yards, a 12 inch gong and we're going to see if we can hit it. Missed. There we go. Oh, we had a miss feed. Oh, that's why I don't like these magazines. Let's see how it goes now. Oh man, again. All right, so. Now we're getting some steel. When that magazine fed, it did good, but there was a couple times we had a hang up, so I don't really like that too well. As far as the rifle is concerned, it did function pretty much flawlessly. Um, other than the magazine. So if you're going to run some P-Mags through this bad boy, it probably just weren't perfect. And I know that because I already have. But I wanted to show how bad this magazine is. They shipped the gun with that. And that's just not a good combination in my opinion. Always get a good brand. We're going to load in another 10 rounds and just do a little more shoot. Well guys, in conclusion, I think the rifle's really good, but the actual magazine that comes with it sucks. 
Um, you can obviously change the handguard up of here, which I plan to do in a future video. I'm going to put a quad rail on it and uh, maybe a few extra accessories. That's pretty cheap. Usually I can get those for around $50 to $75 uh, at your Sportsman's Warehouse or Cabela's or somewhere like that. And uh, other than that, this rifle, for what I'm going to use it for, is pretty decent for just an uh, everyday shooter. Uh, Maybe if you're a professional shooter, this wouldn't do the trick, but for the amateur, this is definitely a rifle with all of the features for about $800. You really can't go wrong. If you guys like my videos, please like, subscribe, and share them around on social media like Facebook and Twitter. It helps me get the word out that I'm doing videos like this and uh, helps me get more of them produced so I can get more people uh, to watch. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day. Alright guys, here it goes. Tracer ammunition. Let's see how it handles.